In this lesson we will talk about vectors, the most important data type in 3D. To understand the way how we can use Expresso for different calculations, we should start with the basics. So the first question is, what is a point in 3D? The answer to this question is, a point is a vector. But this brings us to a, a second question, so what is a vector? Basically, a vector is an arrow with a direction and a length. So imagine we have here our coordinate system and we have an object, for example a sphere. And the sphere is placed somewhere here. So the x position is 4 and the y position is 3. 4 in x and 3 in y. So the position vector for this uh, sphere would look like this. So it's an arrow that goes from the root of our coordinate system. Um, it has a length and a direction. And uh, this arrow shows us the position of our sphere. So this is the um, position vector. So let's say we have another object, for example, a cube, which is somewhere maybe here. So the position, the x position is one and the y position is two of our cube. So the position vector would look like this. Also an arrow that points from the root of our coordinate system to the position of our cube. So let's do our first calculations. For example, we could do a pretty simple one. We could add our both vectors, vector one plus vector two. Adding vectors places the one vector at the tip of the other vector. So this could look like this. Or it could also look like this. When you add vectors, it doesn't matter in um, which order you add them because you end up in the same spot here. So the if you add both vectors, you will create a third vector, the resulting vector. And uh, this vector would look like this, the long blue one, which points also to this point from the root of our coordinate system. Um, and we could uh, yeah, now imagine we uh, place a cone or a third object at exactly this position. So now if we change the position of our two objects, the sphere or the cube, our third object should also change its position. And the position of the third object is always the result of adding the both positions of the other objects. So let's try that in 3D. So I have uh, our three objects here, the sphere, the cube and the cone. And let's make an Expresso tag. So I will create a null object, call this one Expresso. And put an Expresso tag on it. Okay, I will dock my Expresso editor here as a tab. So we have uh, a lot of space to work in and um, we have our viewport also very big here. So we need our sphere and we need our cube. And now I want to read out the current position of our object. So I create an output port, coordinates, position, position. Same thing for the cube. Okay. Okay, now we want to add those two um, position vectors. Go to System Operators, Expresso, Calculate, Math. So this node is very simple. We have our base, the function. So those are the all the basic mathematical operations like add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Modular is something special, but the basic operations are here. We set it to add. And our data type, as we see down here, our data type is vector. So we set it to vector. So we plug them in. And now we take our cone and we want to create an input port also for the position. 
There's another way to create input ports, which might be a little bit better in this case. So to remove a created port, you can just double click on the circle here. And now you can take the wire, drag it on this uh, blue little square, release it here, and then this window will pop up and ask you which port you want to create. So coordinates, position, position. And now the position of our cone is linked to the um, result of the addition of those two position vectors. So let's check it out. If it works, we click somewhere to update the view. So when I try to move our cone, you will see that it won't work because the cone, um, the position of the cone is uh, defined by Expresso. So when I click on the cone and check coordinates, you see again those tiny icons over here. This time it's a square with a arrow on the left side, which means another node brings data uh, into this object. Um, and if we now move our sphere somewhere, the cone moves with it. And also if we move our cube, the cone moves also. So the cone is now always the result of the addition of those both uh, position vectors. I must say it doesn't look so fancy and so useful right now, but um, the, this is the most basic operation that you can do with uh, vectors and we will try to build something cooler in the next lesson.